The following segment illustrates some strategies for using whiteboards and flip charts to visually represent key concepts from the theory bursts and group learning, help learners pace and visually process their learning, visually track medication options and conversion calculations. Why? Because most patients with cancer, with AOS, with AIDS are experiencing pain, the pain is a continuous pain. Okay, so this is time is on this axis and pain intensity is on that axis. So it's an ongoing pain. So you need to give something on a regular basis to control and to prevent the pain. And you try and use the same opioid as you're using for the regular management. So if they happen to be on hydromorph content or oxycontin, if they're hydromorph content, you use hydromorphone short acting. If they're oxycontin, you use oxycodone short acting. Okay. If they're on a fentanyl patch, what do you use for breakthroughs? You use hydromorphone or morphine, yeah, a short acting. Okay. But you're not, you can't get fentanyl orally. Okay, which gives us a total of? 60 milligrams. No, 55. 55 milligrams. Yeah. Round 55 milligrams. <laughs> Where'd you get the five more? 24 hours. Okay. Managing opioid toxicity is to, is to switch the opioid. And if we look at that case we were doing, um, let's try and apply this. If the patient was on morphine, 20 milligrams PO Q4 hours, and we wish to switch to hydromorphone, at what, what would be the dose? 